Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you faces to a new dawn and a new day where on this channel I like to adventure, spend time with family and do random stuff and today we are going on an adventure and we are taking this with us. If you don't know what this is, don't worry, I'll tell you all about it on the way. Right, whilst I'm away, I leave my computer on so I can remote access it to post my vlogs because I've got high speed internet access here. So even if I'm in the middle of nowhere with potato Wi-Fi, I can actually control a super fast computer. Passport, wallet, phone, now to the list, glasses, everything else I can get on the way. As far as I'm aware, I've got everything I need in those bags. For the first time in any journey, I ordered a taxi to actually pick me up rather than panicking. So I'm organized Tom 101. And I can confirm the taxi has arrived 10 minutes late. But it doesn't matter because I'm actually running on schedule. So that's one, a shocker, and two, winner with a chicken dinner. I'm actually looking for a hoodie now, which I know where it is. But right, I'm ready to rock and roll. Adventure is out there. I'll be seeing you in a week. Well, I can confirm I am looking forward to escaping this rain. Terminal three, we meet again. It feels like a sweet minute and a day since I've seen that beautiful sign. But let's do it. <laughs> Mate, I'm so excited for this trip. Like seriously. I don't even need to check in for my flight yet. So I've got time for a latte not to go. What's that about? Never done that before in an airport. I do actually have time to get a full breakfast from somewhere if I wanted to, but instead, I got to shit it, man. So much for breakfast being the most important meal of the day, eh? So, if it wasn't a spoiler enough that I'm going to the Cayman Islands, there's been a massive plot twist. So I checked online last night whether or not I needed an Esther to go to the Caymans, but it's not actually a US territory, it's a UK territory. So when I checked online, it says you do not need a US Esther. However, because I'm flying, from Manchester, London, London, Miami, Miami came in. That means I'm entering to the US. And to do it, to get into the US, just to even fly, lay over to fly somewhere else, you need an Esther. And I ain't got one. And it can take up to 72 hours. Whoops. So, applied for one. I'm gonna travel now from Manchester to London. And in London, like, to, to buy myself three hours time, I'm, I'm just going to hope that the Esther comes through and it allows me to carry on the journey. Otherwise, the trip's postponed. <sighs> so the three hour countdown begins. Between me flying from Manchester to London and my next flight at 12.45, this Esther has to come through. Otherwise, I can't fly. Land and Ephra go to gate 143. The race against time begins well and truly now. I've got a one hour flight on this flight to London. Then when I get to London, I've got to stall two hours till the very last moment I can either check in for the flight or speak to British Airways and try and get the flight cancelled or rearranged until further notice. We can do it. Stop, land an Efro. Fingers <laughs> crossed. We need to work on a plan B. It's currently 9 a.m. and if my visa doesn't come through in the next like three hours, I'm not flying. So we are going somewhere else. But where? This is where I was originally going, just below Miami. But I'm thinking. We either take a trip over here, or here. I would love to go there. So, I'm getting planningLastMinute.com. Not actually, LastMinute.com. <laughs> LastMinute.top and, a, and a, a backup adventure. We can do this. We will do this. What's the worst that happens? Life's too short. Make the most of it. It'll be covered on my travel insurance. And even if I just ended up taking a flight down to London, that's a pretty nice view to look at this morning. I just lied to you a second ago because um, on the map I was like, oh, I'm going here somewhere. Sugar, right? okay. 
But basically, what I just pointed out was, oh yeah, I'm going around here somewhere where Grand Cayman is there, but oh look, it would have been nice if someone would have told me, oh, you need an Esther visa, so I wrote it on the map so people know, but this is my backup plan, all right? Manchester, London Heathrow, London Heathrow to Grand Cayman, maybe not, plan B, we need one. Look to the price and flights, thank you very much, for Dubai. Amalfi Coast is £300. Now, that's only for the flight, which return is not bad at all, it really isn't, but I'm not too sure what the weather is in Italy. Look at that. Beautiful. But, as I say, everything else you can get along the way. So, we're not going to panic, Mr. Manorick. We're not panicking at all. Look at my cup of tea. If I was to go anywhere in Europe, these are my... Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure we just left the EU. EU aside, I have a fruit bowl that I don't want, but... Oh, oh, your boy's got some bread, and your boy's got some jam. Oh, what a day. You see, the annoying thing is, half the world's basically crossed off for me to even think about going. Because I would legitimately go, oh, what about Tokyo? Or something like that. Even though it's not hot, but... I don't think I want to be going over that side of the world right now. My good backup plan then was going to be Singapore. Because I really want to go to that place where it's got like the crazy garden and the boat on top of the hotel. But that's also in pretty much the danger zone right now. So this is, this is technically kind of like the worst time to be traveling. So if I do get the coronavirus, hold the line, I deserve it. Hey up, I found someone. We're racing with them to London. Hello my friend, what flight are you? It looks green so I'm going to assume it's from Ireland, could be wrong. Now, I'm not trying to fat shame this plane or anything, but I don't think it's going to land on that runway. Jokes, we are hopefully about to fly over London, and then we're going to land at London Ethro, mate. At <coughs> the moment I get some 4G, I get to check online for my application, and then if it says no, I'm going to give it maybe an hour maybe an hour and a half until I speak to the British Airways desk and see if I can cancel the flights or just rearrange them for another day. So to not lose out on any money and then book the next plan. Positive vibes. All right, London. Welcome to London Heathrow Terminal 5. The time is next just 10 o'clock. Please ring to your people security. What a traumatic flight. But I like the, like, the whole point of like, saying like the whole keeping my cool and just being like, listen, if I can't go, I can't go. You know? Plan B. You always need a plan B. So the random plot twist of this was I had to check check on my flight from Manchester to London, but from Manchester to London, they wouldn't allow me to check into the, the, the Miami part of the flight. And because of that, I had to exit the airport and now I'm re-going back through the airport to check in again. So hopefully I make it in time for my next flight. <laughs> so I've got to get from this station all the way over to Terminal 3. And they gave me a invisible ticket. Okay. Okay, so this is the train which departs in six minutes. Nice. All right, terminals two and three. I've never been this way before, so this is kind of different. Yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting to be taken outside, but I guess it's time to check in here. All right, one step closer to actually getting there. New decade, new me. So time for a brand new pair of Oclas. I don't know. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, please. You just can't go wrong with a katsu chicken curry, some tuna, and ready to go. That is what I call good timing. Closing. One small step for man. One giant leap for Tom Kind. All right, let's keep her going. Keep her going. Number 14A. Oh, yeah. We got a window seat, boys, and we are here. Yes, home sweet home for the next 10 hours. Spreading the coronavirus. Stop it. 
traveling at this time of year or this moment in the world is probably not a good idea, but... <laughs> Adventure is over. Welcome to my unboxing of a random novelty kit. Novel, novelty kit. Inside you have eye mask, socks, toothpaste, toothbrush, earbuds, pen, and potentially a comb. I'm guessing it right now. Orion tick list. Eye mask, one. Socks, two. Toothbrush, three. Toothpaste, that's a big toothpaste. Check. Mouthwash. I thought it was a glass bottle, though. What else we got? Oh. Hand lotion. Okay. Okay. Uh, lip balm. Tissues. Earbuds. Vouchers. Pen. Oh, and then obviously, free bag. <laughs> I'd just like to show you how good this toothbrush is. Look, you might think, oh, what a weird toothbrush. That's really weird and small to hold. Ho oh, ho. That's what she said. But then it grows. Look at that. You stick it in the other end. Yeah, this just doesn't sound right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get demonetized. Voila. A bigger toothbrush. Oh, sorry. Uh, they're giving me the little talk. The gentleman brought me a, a glass of champagne and a plastic glass. I got my snacks for the journey. I got some Monster Munch and Maltesers. But to get from my house this morning to the airport to this point, I've done 6,500 steps. That's a madden. Ooh. Okay, snacks aside real quick. This is the business menu where, for starters, we are having the harissa prawns. Very nice. A salad. And for mains, you've got a choice of a steak, chicken breast, salmon, and cannoli or something. Tomato mozzarella sauce. I'm going to go with the one and only salmon. Honey and soy marinated salmon, teriyaki sauce, edamame, grits and broccoli. Okay. And for dessert, traditional ice cream sundae. And in between my meal or after it, during the flight, I can have myself a <laughs> mini pie or a salad. Mm, very nice, and look at that. That is a list of drinks right there. Wait, have we got Jack Daniels? Yeah, Jack Daniels. Johnny Walker? Oh, no Johnny Walker. Do we have gin? Any Ginny Weasley? Yeah! Sweet. Have you ever been stuck in a traffic jam like this? Oh my god. That's crazy. Attempting to watch the uh, the new Chucky film, Child's Play, so let's see how this goes. And just like that, dinner is served. Ooh, we got a salad and some prawns for starter. Very nice. But does it taste it? The salmon, oh my gosh, this smells incredible. Wait, trink this one. <laughs> Damn. That is actually amazing. Right, I'll tell you what, that is probably one of the best in-flight meals I have ever had. The, the salmon, like the honey glade, oh, that was next level good. But you know what wasn't? Child's play, the, like the, it, it was so bad. The, basically, the Chucky reboot that they're doing, it was so bad. So cheesy. So bad. So yeah, definitely wouldn't recommend that ever. Um, but I think next, I don't know, Dora the Explorer maybe? <laughs> Part of me wants to watch this, Gemini Man, but it just seems too cheesy. Because the CGI looks really bad in it. This actually looks pretty good. I was just vlogging a clip then on my phone and the member of staff just tapped on my shoulder and just said, no talking on phones on an airplane. And I was like, I'm not. 
and then he was like, you're FaceTiming, and I was like, I'm not FaceTiming, I was just filming something, he was like, oh yeah, that's okay. What? Weird. I never knew that was even a rule, like, safety, because there is Wi-Fi on the plane. There's a rule that you can't FaceTime or use a call. That is a really good film. I didn't think it when I was first watching it, but after I saw it, I, I appreciated how good it was. Incredible film, and this also really, really good. We are currently in the middle of the ocean. And look at me to feel so lazy than wearing an Apple Watch on a plane. Every hour it tells you to stand up, but I'm like mid comfort, and it's like, get up, you fat. And I'm like, Okay, fine, I'll go to the toilet. Apparently it's supposed to help with circulation in your legs and your body and your blood and your heart. Or something like that. I got myself a whiskey and coke and I'm watching the film The Long Shot and it's well good. That moment when you go to go to the toilet and the pilot walks past you and you wonder, who's flying the plane? Do you know what kind of blows my mind on planes? You're not allowed to smoke on a plane Obviously, like since when have you been able to in like modern day times? But there's a fine, there's a symbol, there's a no smoking detector, but then that's there. Les? Wow, look at this flight, dead smooth. Wow, here we go. Yay. Oh, uh oh, oh, I'm doing it wrong. Away she blows. All the way to Miami. How dumb I does, we're doing a whopping 565 miles per hour, that's crazy. Right, mid-flight right now, where are we? Oh, wow. I'm not, I'm not even halfway yet. Oh my God. Time since departure, three hours, 50 minutes. Oh my gosh. I've got ages to go. Ooh, it looks like I found the mid-flight snacks. Oh my God. My God, yes. A collection of corn, crisps, cheese. Oh my God, I just jumped out my skin. The music started playing out my headset because the film just died. But got a Jack Daniels and Coke and a cup of tea and a bottle of water. Oh, hell yeah. They've restacked the snack bar and it looks good. I've never been on a plane where I've had such a selection of snacks. Like, for serious, this is absolutely destroying Emirates right now. Look look how many snacks I've got. I've got cheese, I've got like sweets that I bought, I've got crisps, I've got tuna sweet corn, I've got J um, Jack Daniels and Coke, I've got Oreo dairy milk, Twixes, bottle of water, and a view for a kill. Beautiful. I'm now watching a film called Hide and Seek and it's mediocre at best so far. That said, I've got crisps, fruit, chocolate and two pork pies for food. I like it. Time to exit comfort mode. Slide all this away. Go. Right. Okay, we'll move, slide it in, Ugh. remove the bedding, thank you very much, and return the chair, but, ladies and gentlemen, we are 30 minutes away from Miami. That doesn't mean I'm 30 minutes away from my destination, that means I'm 30 minutes away from Miami. I have to get to Miami, about two hour away from Miami, and then I've got an hour flying from Miami, moving forward to Grand Cayman, so we can listen to some tunes. Oh, that was not me. I didn't do that. What is that? What is that? What? What? Is, what? Is, what is that? I. Whatever you say. I did not open that up. But anyway, Namaste. I found a brush. I brushed teeth. The seatbelt sign is back on. If you are open about the cabin, please return your seatbelt to everybody to ensure your seatbelt is securely fastened about you. And remain seated for the duration of the stop. And press forward. First class seats must face forward with armrest brakes. Business class monitors must be stowed and armrest lowered. We will now collect any items you wish to discard. We will be landing soon.
Back, 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 back to reality. Oh my god, I forgot I had those. Yes, even though I've just brushed my teeth, definitely eating these. Oh ho ho ho. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Miami. So that means we've literally got not a lot of time to waste, but if we aim that way past the bottom of, I want to say Florida Key West, which I'm probably wrong, and we'll get told off off the internet, but if you keep going in that direction, straight past the island to the very end, into the infinite distance, you will get to the Cayman Islands. So whoop, whoop, we're almost there. I'm not even gonna lie, this place looks beautiful enough. Like, I've been to Miami before and it was amazing. But the fact that we're, oh wait, we're racing another plane. Oh, what do you want me? You wanna race with pink slips? Let's go. But the fact that we're on our way to somewhere better, then Miami is kind of mind blowing. And all I'm gonna say right now is wait until you see the hotel. Because we got touchdown in Miami in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, okay, that was kind of close. Come on, gotta give me that. Gotta give me that, gotta give me that, gotta give me that. Don't go anywhere. Stay still, stay still, stay still, stay still. I got too many snacks. I got too many snacks right now. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, <laughs> no boundaries. We really appreciate your business. Oh, yeah. You can't make this up. I just spent the last 20 minutes on this flight look nobody's on it apart from me i just spent 20 minutes on this flight panicking because i couldn't find ron's watch the whole point of me coming to the cayman islands you guys. ron's watch couldn't find it anywhere yeah, it's not in the bag that it's always in every time i travel it's always in the same place no matter what can't find it i, I unpack my bag i put it away everything i can't find it stressing out what did i do with ron's watch no idea not a clue until I went to check the time. I never wear it when I travel. I thought it was my Apple Watch. I got my wrist. 20 minutes I just spent looking for it. <laughs> Apparently I wasn't the only one looking for something. I had it the entire time. What an emotional experience that was. Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank Take you. care. Cheers, team. If I would come all the way to the Cayman Islands and not brought that with me, I would have cried. That is the first time in a long time that it's taken me over an hour to get through airport security and I'm not even through to where I need to go. I've still yet got to not pick up any bags here, but transfer through. Recheck in from Miami to Grand Cayman and I've got to do that without missing my flight, so. Fingers crossed. I'm putting this on record right now. The worst airport I've ever been through for security, staff and everything. Absolutely Miami. The worst. The worst I've ever been through in my, my pure 10 years of traveling. Terrible. I'm gonna say I get it because like the Super Bowl's on, but the Super Bowl's on tonight. Like tonight. So pretty much everyone who's in town to watch the Super Bowl would be in. Do you know what I mean? Like, they should be here watching it, not trying to get through security. And by that, I mean trying to get through security to leave. So, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe, maybe it was just a busy day. And my guys, my guys are just rolling deep. I might, I might jump on the whip, that's all I'm saying. Look at this, look at this, look at this. America. <laughs> Oh my God. It's like a legit, it's a legit viewing party. This is men. <laughs> All right, let's get rock and roll. I don't have no, oops, I'm sorry. I have no idea where I'm going. All right, that is me, D46. Right now, back in London, it's only 12.10, but I've only had three hours sleep. So I'm very tired. I'm very grunk, like grunky, groggy, very groggy. And I just want to get to the Cayman Islands. I want to relax, I want to switch off, and then I want to wake up in the morning, in my hotel, walk outside, and be on the beach. 
Oh yeah, thank you very much. Rock and roll time, see you later. <laughs> well, I wasn't rushing because <laughs> when, I, when I looked at the screen and filmed it, it just said on time. It didn't say final boarding, it didn't say last call. Turns out I'm the last person to get on the plane. I'm gonna go insane. <laughs> I, I've, it wasn't me. I didn't do anything, I swear. <laughs> I'm just going to step off the plane after there's been a blackout, which was nothing to do with me. You can't make it up because it gets better. So not only am I the last person on the plane, I get on the plane and the plane blacks out. I then go to get in my seat and there's someone else in my seat and I have to get them to move. Dead awkward. I then sit down and she's like, would you like a drink? I'm like, oh, I'd love a drink. She goes, what would you like? And I go, what have you got? And she goes, I'll leave you to think about it. Walks off and leaves me. I was like, what the f So I don't know if I'm going to get here in one piece, but it's been one hell of an adventure. If my dad's watching this vlog, he can appreciate more than anyone that if there was ever a time in my life where I needed a beer, it's right now. Cheers, mate. Uh, yeah. This might have been the craziest day of my life, like travel-wise, seriously. <laughs> how, how I've made this happen, I have no idea. I am one step closer to being in the Cayman Islands. Take me there immediately. Oh yeah, I'll tell you something. I do not remember Cayman being this populated i'm not being rude or anything but like christ there's loads going on but we're here yeah all right here we go ladies and gentlemen welcome to grand cayman oh -ho, owen roberts we meet again i'm not even gonna lie i do not remember this airport in the slightest last time i got off the plane i was obviously with ron and Ron rented a car and we went from there, but I just do not remember the airport. I swear it's grown. So apparently those minibus things, wow, I, I feel so out of the loop right now, but apparently them minibus sort of looking things are taxis. Yep, I guess I'm in the right direction. Yeah, I didn't even realize, but it was three years ago when I was last out here. And I tell you what, man, I'm very, very glad to be back. I do not remember it at all though. So when I was last here, this hotel where I'm staying right now was being built. That bar down there is Calico Jack's where I got absolutely wasted and had a great time. But I'm almost confident like this hotel was still being put together and being built as I like came and visited it. So you know what? As things panned out, I spoke to like the hotel team here being like, yo, I'm coming to the Cayman Islands. <laughs> I need a place to stay can you sort something out and these guys gave me an incredible deal staying here so shout out to the the Kimpton Seafire team because this hotel looks hella nice <sighs> I can't believe I've actually made it this has been the most dramatic adventure ever but not only that I've got to the, the hotel and as soon as I walked in Steve <laughs> The guy's called Steve on the door, hooked me up with two lagers the moment I walked through the door, and I've got another one over there that I'm drinking from. I've walked through the door, I've gone to check in, and not only have I gone to check in, they've like, hey, just to let you know, we've upgraded your room to like a beachfront something or other, so I can't make this up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kimpton Sea Fire in Grand Cayman, which is about to be the most spectacular trip I've ever been on. Wait until I show you this place in the daytime, guys. It's gonna be mind blowing. Whoa. I wasn't expecting to be walking down a long corridor, but because of the upgrade. Well, so I'd love to show you the room number, but my beer's in the way. But I've got to walk all the way down here, I think, for a room with a view. This is just the, the dining room lounge section of my hotel. Because I told you guys, when I come back to the Cayman Islands, I'm coming back and I am doing this properly. And I didn't expect to be staying in the hotel. Oh my, God. wait, what is this view? Do we, can we even, oh, no, no, no. You've got to be kidding me. I could actually cry. 
I could, I could actually cry right now. Are you kidding me? I didn't even think I was going to make it here today. I didn't think I was going to make it and I've got a f***ing hotel room on the beach. Look at this. Oh my God, I get to wake up to this for the next seven days. Are you kidding me? <sighs> now, I've got some pretty sad news in the aspect of I've booked this trip as a... I needed to get away, I needed to adventure, I needed to get it out of my system. And there was the one place that I've, I just wanted to return to, was the Cayman Islands. And you guys know that that major important reason is because of Ron. Like Ron gave me a watch to travel around the world and to return to him back here in the Cayman Islands. But I spoke to Ron about returning out here and he's currently not here at the moment and he doesn't know when he's gonna be back. So I spoke to him, I've got his address, I've, I'm, I've got a present that I'm gonna buy him and send over to him, but I'm so good he's not here because the, 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 the true purpose of oh, like the hidden meaning of this trip was for me to return his watch that he gave me, but he gave me this watch three years ago when I visited the Cayman Islands. And when he gave me this watch, I said I'd travel it around the world and I'd return it to him. And I've taken it on every single flight adventure I've been on. It's always been in my bag. It's always been there with me. I even thought I left it on the plane until I was wearing it like an idiot. But I came to return it to him. And not only that, I've got his address to ship him all the watches you guys sent three like over the past three years. But then also I'm gonna treat Ron to a pretty cool watch as a thank you. So hopefully we will see the video on the day where I get to return him this in person. But nonetheless, I'm here and I'm back in the Cayman Islands. Now let's check out the bedroom. Look at this for a real, oh my God, TV hanging off the wall. What is this, what is this? Room and breakfast service. Oh, I'll take some biscuits. Yeah, I'll take them, I'll take them. What is this? Oh my gosh, we've got little postcards and everything everywhere. We've got water by the bedside. We've got a chaise lounge at the end of the bed. Oh my God, get out of here. Freestanding bathtub. A room with a view. Absolutely nutty sized shower. Oh, I'll take that every day of the week. Oh my God. And then a throne fit for a king. What a absolute room oh my god all right i'm saying this right now the fact that they've got the super bowl on and i'm in america i feel like i have to go down there and get involved so i'm going to take my three cans of beer i've got and get down there but can i just put into perspective the size of this hotel all right look at all this with everything going on i didn't show you the pool area that's still part of the hotel this is part of the hotel and look at this Oh, guys, this tomorrow is going to be on another level. This is hands down, I think it's fair to say, this is hands down the nicest. Like, j let me very, very, very much think about this for a split second. Because this is hands down the nicest hotel I will ever stayed in. If not the nicest hotel room ever. Wait until you see this in the morning. This is a. This is gonna blow our goddamn minds. If that visa wouldn't have come through, I keep it cool, calm, and collect. But if that visa wouldn't have come through, I did have a plan B, and I was working on it, and I was keeping it calm. But if I if that didn't come through, it would have been a disaster. An absolute disaster. But just you wait. It's pitch black. I'm so annoyed that it's pitch black right now. All I can show you is the, is the pool, which still looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. But I can't show you the amazing view. I can show you the, the there's the American football. Apparently people are cheering. Oh, is it finished? Oh, it looks like it's finished. Oh, bollocks. I guess I'm not going down there. Uh, either either way. I made it. And it is currently 10 o'clock at night, which means it is Currently, three o'clock in the morning in the UK. That's the view. That's the view of the sun setting. And I can't wait. I can't wait to film it for you guys tomorrow. <laughs> oh! Sunsets and views aside, before I dive into this absolute feast, welcome, Tom. We're so glad to have you with us in our little piece of paradise. If there's anything we can do to make your stay any more memorable, just let me know, Emily. 
And can I just say this right now? I had to send an email to Emily being like, hey, really appreciate you sorting this, like, stay out and everything. Might not make it because of visa situations. And she was like, oh, no, I hope you actually managed to do it. And lo and behold, I was like, so do I. But I kept updated along the way, managed to make it happen. And Emily, thank you so much for accommodating the stress of me being a potato and this absolutely incredible hotel. The party downstairs might be over because the Super Bowl's over, but if I open my goddamn size huge fridge, I've got drinks and drinks and drinks and drinks on deck with uh, <clears throat> Snickers available <laughs> for, for, for being eaten. I've got a microwave, I've got a dishwasher, and a hob. Mint. The, uh, yeah, you're getting ransacked in about 10 minutes. You better... <gasps> No way. This is the best rum cake in the entire world. Oh my god. Okay, it turns out that the uh, the actual Super Bowl is not finished. That was just half time or something like that. So, welcome to down below where the pool is looking incredible. Look at that for a bar. Mate, we are in paradise here. And that's my hotel room up there. So, literally from being up there to down here, welcome to the Coco Lobba Bar and Grill Super Bowl on display. I'm, I'm assuming this is live right now and not in replay. Woo! All right, and here you have it. Super Bowl on the beach, Grand Cayman Islands. What a what a what a place to be well what a place to experience it um what i literally just sat here and watched the super bowl champions become champions it doesn't seem like anyone here is actually too happy about it but i saw it happen on the beach in the cayman islands yeah oh i just couldn't help myself i just couldn't help myself i i, I actually think i managed to walk to this point from here all the way down which is seven miles this is the famous seven mile beach and which is weird you know when you go started from the bottom now we're here well weirdly enough i stayed at the very last hotel which is the margaritaville all the way at the very start of seven mile beach and now three years later i'm staying at the top of the beach at the sea fire crazy how things have panned out Absolutely mental. But I'm just kicking it with the sea. Tickling my feet. I've not touched it yet. I'm gonna do it. Come here. Uh oh, this looks like a trap. This looks like a trap. I'm wearing my jogging bottoms, by the way. <laughs> I'm in the Cayman Islands wearing jogging bottoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I did it. Oh, it's warm. Oh. Thanking you, thanking you. I walk away with a beer and I tell you something. That is one hell of a hotel with one hell of a view. And that is my room. Dilly dilly. And in my room on this balcony is where I'm gonna call it a night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to connect to the Wi-Fi right now. I've got the moon over there just looking cute and gorgeous. But I've had one of the longest travel days, the most stressful days of my life. But rather than being stressed about it, I was like, listen, if it happens, it happens. And if it happens, there's always a plan B. And if there's not a plan B, there's a plan C. But it didn't come to that, so... I can't thank the staff here enough for the hospitality. And I've only, only just got here. This is like day minus one. But I've only just got here and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my trip here. Um, I've been ex trying to explore as much as the hotel as I can. In the space of an hour before all the staff go and stuff like that. Um, and it's gone pretty goddamn good. I realized that the, the actual beach beds on the beach, I can chill out on to whatever time I want, which is amazing. I can walk around wearing no flip flops indoors and it's absolutely fine to a certain degree. And I can chill out on my deck watching the waves go by. Kind of crazy. Kinda absolutely crazy. I did not think I'd be back here after three years. 
with a mosquito bite on my knee. Boom, look at that bad boy. Jeez. But I did not think I would be back in the Cayman Islands after three years seeing this place being built. Like the fact that I saw it being built to now being built and being finished and staying it is a whole nother story. This place is beautiful. I just can't wait to see it in the daytime. So guys, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna end this video here. It's been one hell of an emotional roller coaster. It may I don't know how it comes across it whether it was like that in the video or not. But be sure to leave a like button, subscribe, share this with your friends. And tomorrow I will give you guys a full on badass tour of this Kimpton Seafire Hotel. Of which again, like full disclosure, like these guys gave me an amazing deal on the hotel to even stay here. So I can't thank them enough for it. Um, I, it, it was like out of my wildest dreams to even stay here. Uh, I didn't even know which hotel I was going to stay at. It got to the point where it was like a week before I travelled out here. I bought the flights first, no hotel. And I was like, I need a place to stay. And these guys came in absolutely clutch. So, yeah, I'll give you guys like a rundown and like a tour tomorrow of the hotel. And, yeah, we'll see what it looks like in the daytime. Because this view is not getting its full respect and treatment with me and my phone right now. So... I'll see you guys tomorrow, 7 p.m. for the next day of the vlog. Hopefully the internet out here and everything is good. If it is, we shouldn't have any problems whilst I'm out here vlogging and stuff. But yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, right? I'm beyond tired. It's currently, what, what, what time is it? I cancel this. I don't want to go into power reserve. It's currently four o'clock in the morning in the UK. I'm tired. I shall finish my white tip lager from Cayman Islands, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think. And I'm going to bed. So much love.